Hey, what's up? I've developed this little currency system that is very simple and easy to integrate into your own project and could probably be of some use to you. So today I'm going to show you what's it all about. So there are going to be multiple parts to this video. The first one will be uh, just the basic functionality of picking up the currency and storing it in somewhere in some game object and um, just displaying the currency and uh, how much well money you have or gold or whatever you want to call it. So I've used these um, uh, things that uh, these uh, coins from the standard assets that Unity provides, these prototyping ones, the model, but I've created the script myself. So um, basically just walk up to it and uh, you go over it, you trigger it uh, with a collision and you pick up the coin. And as you can see, it's stored um, up there. So uh, yeah. Um, this thing that you saw, this like teleportation, this is a different video that I've made. I'll link it in the description if you want to get the same effect, if you want to teleport around. Sorry, that's the last coin of the scene. Um, so yeah, that's it's basically that. In a different video, I'll show you some things that you'll be able to do with those coins. For example, buy things and like make things appear if you have enough coins or unlock a different area or whatever. Tons of possibili possibilities. So um, for this we have two scripts, um, so one is the pick up money or pick up gold, whatever. So the pick up script where you actually pick up the coins and the currency script that is the global script where you, where that handles your, the storage of the coins that you pick up. So we have a public integer that's gold. Uh, it's public because we want to be able to access it from different scripts. We have the currency UI. I've made it a game object. Um, it's the UI that um, displays the number of uh, gold you have. And um, also you need to say using Unity Engine.UI so all of the UI functionality um, can be used in model develop. Basically this just means that uh, model develop knows that you're going to be using UI, the new UI system. So it, you just have to type that so you can use the new like functionality and things. For example over here. So in the start, uh, in the star function, we just say that the currency UI is game object dot find currency. So it finds a game object that's called currency, and for that you have to create a game object UI. You have to create a text. You have to create a, a text, and you have to call it, uh, the canvas is gonna appear if you don't already have one. So basically, the text that you've created, I've made it over here. So let me just delete this. You have to call it currency. Let me just go into duty view. You have to call it currency because in the script um, it searches for a game object called the currency. So you have to have the name of your text be exactly the same as the one that's over here. Um, the um, anchor is at the top because I want it to appear here. Um, and I've deleted all the text because here we're going to have the number of gold that you have up here. Um, in the update function, we have um, currency.ui, so we get the component, the text component of the currency game object, and we access its text, and we set the text of the text component to be equal to gold. But um, we can't just say that it's equal to gold because it will give you an error, like um, you can't put an integer here, it's, it's expected to be a string, because the text, um, as you can see, well, let's all right. So the string, the text, um, uh, up uh, shows a string value, and an integer is not a string. So there's a function for that, that it just um changes the float or int or whatever it is. In this case, it's an int. It changes it to a string. So with the two string function. After that, we just have a. If you don't understand this, it's basically um. Basically, when you have an int or or an float or anything, um, you can use mathematical equations because MonoDevelop uh, recognizes it at an, as a number because it's a float or an integer. But a string, a string is um, a couple of characters, so you can't use mathematical equations with characters, but you can display them via like text and shit. So basically, you can't display the number but you change the number to be a character but it's a character of a number if you understand so here i just say if the gold is less than zero it's going to be equal to zero because we don't want the gold to go into a minus so 
the second script is the um, currency, the pickup money script. So here we just get a reference to the currency script over here. So we say currency script and um, the public integer. Uh, the add amount is just the amount that we set in the inspector that we want to be able to add to the um, currency. And in the star function, I just say that the script is game object dot find with tag game controller get component currency. So it finds a game object that's tagged game controller. Now, um, when you start a uh, scene, um, you're when you create a new scene you're probably gonna have this event system over here now if you don't have one just create a game object and call it whatever you want but the, the important thing about is it about it is you have to tag it as game controller if you don't have this game controller tag just go ahead and add a tag go over here plus and call it game controller and tag it exactly the same as it is in the script so it basically searches for the object and it gets uh, the currency component of it. So um, void on trigger enter, this is the part where we actually get the money. So uh, it this checks if the thing that collided with the uh, coin is tagged player. If it's tagged player, this the next thing is going to happen. If it didn't, um, it's not going to happen. So um, uh, here I've missed, uh, you need to put these, um, just uh, put it out. So basically, you need to put these, but it's all good. And uh, this script is going to be able available on GitHub, so don't worry. Um, so uh, when you collide with the coin, the script gold is uh, added. The add amount is added to the script gold. So basically, it um, it, it gets the script. Um, it gets the the currency script, and it accesses. It accesses its um, public integer gold, so um, and it adds the add amount to this public integer. That's what's public because we want to be able to access it from different scripts. After that, we just destroy the game object because we don't want to be able to collect the same coin twice and get the money or a number of times and just get the gold over and over again. Basically. To make it work, um, you go ahead to the scene. You you add the currency to the event uh, manager to the event manager to the event system that you have tagged game controller, and you add the coins. Um, here they are. It's in the prototyping part in the models. So here the, here's the pickup prototype that I used. So um, you add the pickup money script to it. You set the amount to whatever you want, and you ha oh sorry about that. And you have to make sure that the mesh collider or box collider or whatever collider you have is tagged to trigger, because if it's not, it's not gonna tag that you've picked it up. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, for this part of the tutorial, uh, in the next part, I'll actually be making some more functionality more things that you're going to be able to do with this coin with these coins with this money that you've collected um, and uh, that's pretty much it maybe you don't need that maybe you just want these coins to be a way of keeping track of your score which is pretty cool as well but um, I'll just make the video because some people might need other functionality as well so yeah that's it um, I'll see you in a different video and thanks for watching bye